Hey there guys, this is Ryan from Private Ground School, and today I'm going to be doing kind of a review on the iPad program called ForeFlight. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up, just in case if anyone is curious as how to app this app works, but doesn't really want to spend the money yet without knowing how it works. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go through all the little um, tabs and show you what each of them do. Um, first of all, this page just kind of gives airport information. As you can see, I've got some favorites here, my home airport. Let's go ahead and type in. Uh, oh, let's do. We'll do Spring, uh, St. Louis. So here it is. It pulls up Lambert, St. Louis uh, International. Go ahead and put up taxiways. It's going to pull up diagram charts. Go back. Go to nearby. Tell you all the airports nearby. Uh, this is just what, like, extra comments about the uh, airport. And as you can see, it gives all the basic information on the main page. It's got um, current rules, which are visual, because the weather's good over there. It's got airport elevation, uh, pattern ele attitude, altitude, <laughs> uh, the fuel that's available, um, what kind of approaches they have. Just got a few other um, some frequencies here that are useful. You go over here to frequencies. It'll give you every frequency you need. You know, you go to approach, clearance. Um, common any of them go to weather give you uh, the current weather either in coded form or uncoded or uh, decoded where they kind of um, basically the cheating way to figure out the weather it gives you the nearby weather too from any airport nearby uh, forecasts also with coded or uncoded and the winds aloft Go to runways, they'll give you runway information, tell you uh, what the runway is made out of. Good concrete, excellent concrete, pavement, whatever. Go to procedures, it'll give you um, any type of arrival, approach, departure they have. You can pull them up, I'll show you that later. Also, no tams. Um, services, this is kind of cool. If you're going to a place and you want to, say you want to go figure out what kind of uh, hotels are nearby, go to lodging. They'll tell you what air, uh, what hotels are nearby. It shows days in airport, uh, half a mile away. I'm guessing that's um, a hotel associated with the airport. You go to the AFD. It's got the page. Tells you everything you need about it. You can zoom in if you want to pull it up closer. And more. I'm not sure about this. I don't know what all these do because I've only been using this program for about a year. Go over to the map. It'll pull up the entire sectional. And you can zoom in to where you want to go. And this is what I love about this. Normally when you're buying a sectional, this is my home uh, kind of flying area. This is all I would get right about here with the front and the back side included. But with ForeFlight, you pay the subscription and you get the entire United States. It's awesome. So you're going to go here. I've got a little flashing dot. As you can see, the blue thing right here. That's just because I've got a GPS um, built into my iPad. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the brightness. Okay, so you pull up. You want VFR sectional. You can pull up a bunch of other options, too. Like, if you want the radar to find out what kind of weather is going on. We'll find out what's going on real quick. There you go. you got some icing up here. More icing. Doesn't look like there's any storms. Down there, you can put it into a. Uh, push the play button and it'll show you kind of like how the weather is moving. Put it in motion. You can push that and it goes back to where you're going. And um, pull this up, it'll tell you um, your current ground speed, your altitude, which kind of gets off, but it's free, so. Let's see. Satellite shows you the current cloud, can, like the clouds. TFRs is useful. You can find out where the flight restrictions are, which I'm guessing if we go out to the east, yep, right there it shows one in, I think it's DC. Let's see what else. Airmets and Sigmets, flight rules, this is useful. You can pull it up and find out uh, all these green dots. It's kind of hard to see on my camera. I'll zoom in. That's not going to show it. 
shows like green dots all over here. So you know this area's got um, VFR weather. Over here you got marginal VFR because they've got blue dots on these airports. Temperatures. All the red is negative, green is positive. Dew point spread. You can use this when you get into instrument because the closer the dew point to the temperature, the more likely you're going to have uh, bad visibility. You can use, you can find out the winds too, but I don't really use it that much. This is what's really cool that I like to use. You want to find out where um, cheap the cheapest gas is. You can use this, and anything in green is the lowest prices of fuel, and anything like in orange or red is where you're going to pay more. So it'll also show you the price per gallon you're paying, which at my home airport looks like four ninety, which is really not that bad right now. Anyways, we'll take that off. We'll take radar off, and we'll see. Here's the low and route chart. In case you do instrument work, again it goes the whole entire United States. And something you can do that's really cool. Let's say, where am I? Say I'm going to do a flight from my home airport, which is Skyhaven. I'm going to go over to Napoleon VOR, down to Springfield VFR, VOR, and then go to Springfield Airport. Right there, it's going to plot out, as you can kind of see, the red line, or the, the purple line, and the blue line. It's going to show you where my route is down to Springfield. And you can also pull this thing down. It's going to show you distance, which you can't really see. It's too small. It says 142 nautical miles. And then I'm going to go in here, and 58 Delta Alpha is the Beechcraft Baron that we use at our school. And it has 28 gallons per hour. It's going to tell us that 5,500 feet is the best altitude to choose um, for flying down here. It gives us a three knot tailwind. It's going to take us 45 minutes to get there. And we're going to burn 21.2 gallons. You can also uh, put this in motion and if you have GPS, and once you get over um, Napoleon VOR, it's going to transition to Springfield as the next one. It does it automatically. It's kind of cool. Um, and you can do this with the uh, with um, the sectional as well. You can like say we're going from Skyhaven down to Springfield and then to say St. Louis. There you go, it'll plot the entire flight. Again, it'll pull up, it'll tell you how far it is, 263 miles, it'll take us an hour and 20 minutes if we choose 5,500 feet. So that's pretty cool. Go on next to plates, which you know what that is. Uh, well, some of you might approach plates. You can kind of, it pulls up the entire approach plate. And you get these by going to, um, back to the airports page. And you go to procedures approach and then pick which um, plates you want here. This is just kind of like a, a favorites type of file. Documents. For this, this is really handy because um, if you're in your training, you can, like I've got the, the Aviation Instructor's Handbook and you can pull it up for free since the FAA offers it. You can download it straight to your iPad so you can read it whenever you want. You don't have to buy it. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, and you put your legends here too for your uh, sectionals so you can uh, you know what everything is. Imagery, this is, it'll give you, uh, well, you got like t icing, it'll show you any type of icing information. And it goes to pretty specific areas too. Um, some of them will show like just Missouri for different types of uh, imagery. And some will show just California or just uh, Nebraska, you know. It shows the current um, icing conditions. You can go back and you can check out the forecast for icing for six hours from now or three hours or 12 hours. It's got the turbulence with the same with different predictions and different times and different altitudes. Doppler radar. And uh, here's the prognostic chart, which we'll use quite a bit. There's a few others in there, but I'm not going to pull them up just for the sake of time. Right over here, this is really nice. Um, if you want to file a flight plan, you can do it straight from your iPad. You just type in, you know, I'm doing a IFR flight plan. You're putting your aircraft, true airspeed, just like you would normally. 
and then once you get done, you can push brief and file, and it'll brief you on your flight, and it'll also file the, uh, uh, it'll file your flight plan. You go over the next one, which is the scrap, uh, scratch pad, and you can type in whatever you want, you know, if you're going to get your IFR clearance, type in the, uh, the craft acronym, and type in cleared, route, altitude, frequency, tr uh, transponder code, whatever. And I think there's a way to change it. I think there's a way to, eh, whatever, who cares. We'll go over to the next page, which is the last one. Over here, it just, uh, whenever you have an update, it'll pull up. Uh, you can download your updates for any of the charts you have. This is where you can add your aircraft to save time whenever you're trying to file flight plans. And this will also tell you when your subscription ends, which mine says, mine ends on January 4th, 2004. 14. Now, in my personal opinion, I think four flights are very worth the price you pay. And why do I say that? Because I did um, some basic math here. Uh, a sectional at our airport, at our home um, airport, costs seven dollars. You have to get one of those twice a year, so that's fourteen dollars. Uh, airport um, AFDs they cost seven dollars, and you have to get those six times a year, so that's forty-two dollars a year. Low on route charts, you buy uh, for seven dollars. And they are also six times a year, so that's forty-two dollars. Then approach plates are seven dollars. Uh, well, they're all within like a, they're all pretty close to seven dollars, but you buy those also six times a year, and that's forty-two dollars. So all these totaled up is about one hundred and forty dollars you're spending on all this uh, paperwork, and that's just that's just for you know for one sectional or one low and route chart. If you have to buy more, if you're going farther away than just this area, and you need another sectional like for over here. You have to buy that one too. So, with four flight, you get all of that, and I think it's oh, what is it? I, I pay less than most people because I go to a college that's accredited, um, and they recognize that and give us a discount. I think it's like eighty or ninety dollars a year. So you, even with just that, you're saving fifty dollars. But you can get an iPad pretty cheap used on Craigslist, and that's what I did with mine. Um, I'd suggest get the the three G or four G or whatever with it. Because you don't even have to pay for the internet, and you'll get the GPS to work for free. I don't buy internet, but my GPS works whenever I go out. And one more thing, um, Four Flights team, their support team is very helpful. I emailed them with a question, and they responded within oh like 15 or 20 minutes and helped me out. And they were really nice and supportive. Anyways, guys, if you have any other questions, just let me know. I'm going to go um, put up some lesson plans in the next few days to kind of help you guys with any questions you might have. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.